to win the game. So, uh, yeah, rundown so presented by SiriusXM. Tune in to catch the Parcel Radio crew on daily slate of original shows on Power 85. Plus, tune in to live games, coverage of every major sporting event from every major conference so you can root for your team all season long. There's even fantasy sports coverage so you can get the latest information and advice from experts. Sports lovers dream, not to mention the ad-free music, plus some uh, comedy news and more. Now you can create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Enjoy your favorite shows and performance on demand. Whatever you love, it's now on SiriusXM. Now you can listen for $4 a month as long as you're a student. Visit SiriusXM slash SiriusXM.com slash rundown to see offer details and subscribe to SiriusXM.com slash rundown. All right, World Series 2-0. Um, most people stunned. I know our guy, Jared Carabas. I don't know why he was rolling around here before it started being like, I guarantee my life game two on Houston. Like, he, that was his thing. Like, I've never heard him actually be that confident about anything, but he's just, before it started, you're just game two Houston. Game two Houston, Jared. Game two Houston. You guaranteed the Astros guaranteed last night? No, I did two. not. Before, before the series. Before before the series. Who guaranteed before, the game oh, two? He was game oh, two. Oh, oh that is a little no, bit. Before the series. I didn't guarantee it. Yeah, uh, no, yeah, you did. I would never use the G word. If but. you pick game two out of the, like, the series hasn't started, you're yeah. like game two Houston. Mm -hmm. That's a guarantee. But I didn't, I didn't guarantee it. I think you can't I mean, force we, that on We me. have learned a lot, though. The G word does mean more. No, than it doesn't. Just, I didn't say the G word. But Time out. I if felt, the World Series hasn't started, and you're saying... Game two. Bet game two Houston, mm -hmm. and game one hasn't started, that's a guarantee. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, it is. A guarantee that they win? I just said, yeah, no, I feel pretty good about the Astros game in game two. two. Game two. Game one hadn't started. So what? It's not a best of three uh, series. That's a pretty fucking big thing. What does game one have to do with game two? Because you you skipped over game one to give us game two. Yeah, because of the pitching matchup. It had nothing to do with that's the, who's like going to win the at series. That's like the track and it's the second race. And somebody's like, hey, race seven. You're zeroing in on that. I was yeah, wait, zeroing in on a specific matchup, pitching that's, matchup. That's what are you talking about? To that. Yeah. Game two is, you were saying, if you give... Game two, and game wasn't happening. That's a guarantee. I didn't ask for it. He's like, game two, Houston. Yeah. But I, All right, like, so then what are we debating? The, the, you get, like, you said that's that, like, a guarantee. I, it's not a guarantee. I didn't yeah, say a hey, guaranteed. You have to say the word for it to be a guarantee. You don't This is a semantics when battle, game Dave. I know that you like doing when these. Game one I just got a steak and cheese you sandwich. Two? You're shaking your head. What, are you on this side or this side? So I thought that, especially in the gambling world, we've seen that like the G word carries weight no, around here. No, that's a G. That's saying it with. That's just some no. Minutes. But I thought there had to be like that's no. what happened with Brandon Walker, the no, big old no, no, fucking no, no. G word guarantee. No, no, no. If I if I just said to you that like I like Verlander uh, more Kevin, than Cole, like game that, one hasn't happened. You don't jump to game but two. But the starters, like if I, mean, I think it definitely that the, matters. If I think the Astros are going to lose game you, one, and I think they're going to win game two. I'm going to tell you game two. <laughs> I'm so confused. Like, I've never heard somebody guarantee a game two before, but exactly. game one didn't happen. I mean, I know it's baseball and the match. It sounds same weird. You're right. You are, game. You, different when, when you skip game. the game, when you don't give your opinion on the first game, which has not happened, and out of the blue, you say, But there's Houston, a different starter for game two. Yeah. No shit. So that, if, if right. I think Verlander's so going to win, I can you, talk about game two without talking about game one. You, you don't talk about game two unless it's a guarantee if game one hasn't happened. Okay. I disagree. Well, it's just different pitching matchups. You, uh, you act like you can't be like, all right, I don't feel good about the game you one pitching came matchups, out of the game clouds, two pitching matchups. Yeah. And you were like, Houston, game two. You didn't Correct. mention the pitchers. You just said game two. Did I need Houston. to specify? Well, why would I have to specify? Did you ask me my reasoning? And I, I didn't, didn't ask anything. Start? You just came up right. and you're talking game one. You're like, game two, yes. Houston. Right. That's a guarantee. No, it's not. You have to say it. What if I was just like, uh, you know, when like I'm guaranteeing when they get back home they're gonna win, like game three because they're gonna be playing at home. Yes, I would say if, if game wasn't ha or if game one has not happened and you start guaranteeing or being well, like, all right, well, what if I just said like, you know, the Yankees are getting back home game three. I, I I feel good about that game. You would be like, if the series hasn't started, and and yeah, if I you say, say like, the Yankees like, like, at home like, 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 game three, about? wait for that game. That's a, that's a guarantee. And you, are you talking about from the point of view as gambling? Like that Correct, means you're going to go yes. better? Okay, got it. That's it. So you're saying it to a gambler. You're acting like it's just like a take on a game. He's gambling. 
No one is talking about who's going to win game two before game one happened unless you're saying it's a guarantee for game two. It's the same horse racing now. You don't start talking about the See, seventh like, even, when you're in the even second. Even when like, you're careful around Dave, it's like, all right. How's like, that I'm careful? Not, no one asked you your opinion. guaranteeing it. I didn't but say, no one hey, asked Dave, your opinion. I wasn't like, hey, Jared, what do you think of game two? You're like, you came out of the clouds like, game two. When you say that, what was the, what was the scenario? Like, we where? were all talking about game one. But, uh, he wasn't even, he just came over like game two, Houston, walked away. I said that on the fucking rundown. You said a lot. I, I think, think, it was like I think the Astros have team. their hands full with the Nats. Oh, absolutely. But I'm saying the, in the AL, I never thought it was yeah, no, the I Yankees think they do. year. I think By they the do. way, Dave. No. You asked me to come over here. You act like I was like yelling it from the corner. Oh, no. Wait, I said game two. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Before the series. No, started. you. Yeah, but you said off the rundown, too. I said it a lot of times, Dave. Yeah, I know. You so, game two. You're guaranteeing it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's a guarantee. Do you still need me? Well, what happened? With what? I game told two? you. I, I bet the Braves, both, I mean, the Nats both games. So I'm smart. You're dumb. But what, what have you missed? It's not that I'm dumb. There? More just misinformed. What do you mean misinformed? What does that mean? Just, just misinformed. What does that mean? I just felt like the Astros had a better shot. What, in game two? In game two. Why? Misinformed because by who? Like Verlander? Just, Verlander, like, Verlander's in the World Series game two, has the fourth get, what, worst misinf- ERA in the World by Series. Who? The fourth world, the, fir- the fourth See, worst ERA in the World Series. We're, we're, we're p- peeling away the onion here. Yeah. Game two. I mean, that means that someone told you something. <laughs> yeah, clearly. And that's why he guaranteed. That's why I didn't wanting- guarantee the G yeah, word is did. a buzzword that you keep wanting to use, and that's just not what it is. Misinformed. By by whom? Because that's J- that's KFC's thing. Oh well, we knew the pitching matchups. Everybody. That's not mis. Who misinformed yeah. you? Nobody. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Jared, who do you like game four? <laughs> who I like in game who four? Who informed you about game three? I think four. I think that the idiot. I think that this is a sweep. Sweep. All right. Misinformed. Yeah. I think it's a sweep now. So we can all now conclude fairly that I was dead right on this. The to way. To fade. What? Just to that, fade? No, just that you were not just talking about Verlander and the matchups because I think that's valid. But the way you just said that means that you came over to saying whole, game two is going to happen the because I was way told. Way he by was somebody. walking around. I was informed. Game two. It's it's somebody who's walking around who thinks they have something. That's what he's doing. Jack Mac with Akron. I didn't, I didn't guarantee. If I were to guarantee, I'd have to be 100% sure. Good, the good news is I have such little faith in you that I just, I mean, I took the Nats anyways. Okay. I'm but glad you did. You were wrong about everything. And was, your source was I was wrong. wrong about game two. Yeah. But I won't be wrong about the series. I can't believe you're not asking what the hot tip is. What's it matter? I mean, whatever that hot right. tip was. was it wasn't very hot. Pretty cool it was, it was what, the hot, the hot tip skipped like again. Why did you just do this, Bram Walker? Well, he got roasted for the guarantee. Yeah, that's, it's like, it's Wait, you know who the... He's telling us to stop because he knows that. Do you know what I'm trying to get out of him? Yeah, because now you guys are putting your foot in your mouth if you know what the inf- information was. All right, oh. so then what is it? I'm so confused. Well, I'm saying say it. And I'm saying yes. Oh, you guys are so dumb. What is it? It doesn't matter what's wrong. Well, it's not like you told the entire office. Tommy, do you know it? He, he told You know Blackjack? What is it? So he, I'm telling you, he right. told the entire the office had, that the Astros, Astros knew Strasburg's pitches. Like, like they, they had were, glass downs in they were tipped the, off. The so that's why he said he feels good about game two. Okay, so again. Yeah. But also, by the way, wouldn't that, Oh, Strasburg pitches. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I guess I, that trumps like, no one again. Like I said. That's not even like that hot of a tip. Well, yeah. no, no, it kind of. I mean, if you think that's true, it's that's a definitely a Correct. big deal. But look, yeah. by the way, I'm gonna tell you this: no matter who Carabas is talking to, whether it's fucking that Bregman or Verlander's brother or whoever it may be, he ain't getting that information if that's real information. You think there's letting? You think Jared fucking Carabas knows before Strasburg knows <laughs> that they're fucking tipping his pitches? No chance. That's why it's 10 2. That's why when he said that, I just ignored him. But he still, that was a guarantee he was walking around with. Absolutely. That unraveled real quick. Real <laughs> quick. <laughs> I wonder if Dan knows that. Anyways, what? Do you want to say anything? Who told you? 
Look at him. Just would you look at him over there? He's just like nice what? Man. Don't say. It. it doesn't matter. They got killed. Yeah, they lost. So what did you? Who who did you think told you that? It's Frank either, is loving this. Bregman <laughs> or, or Verlander's brother? Verlander's brother? Yeah, one of the others. Is he a stoolie? I didn't even know who that. Yeah, is that a, yeah. a thing? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I'm not. I'm not revealing oh, sources. Bregman? No. What are you? I'm not, give me I'm that. Not look. revealing sources. Yeah. Your source stinks. Yeah, they fucking lost, Dave. Bregman may have been very wrong. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Although Bregman he hit a home run. Bregman hit a home run. He might know something. <laughs> Bregman did go deep like he knew that pitch was coming in the first inning. <clears throat> that was a bad pitch. What? That, that was, was a, bad a bad pitch. pitch. Yeah. Probably knew what happened. All right. Um, <laughs> Nick Saban, he's mad. I love this clip. An effort to get Talia into the game just to expedite his, uh, his progression. You know, we're, we're, we're focused on winning the game, all right? So we're, we're going to try to win the game, and we're going to play the best players that we can play to win the game. And we're not assuming that it's going to be an easy game, all right? and we're not assuming that we'll have opportunity just to play anybody that wants to play, to expedite anything except winning the game. So we're going to play everybody who can expedite winning the game. That's what, that's what we're going to do. So I don't think anybody should expect us to do anything else. I fucking love Nick Saban. You should just say this for I every single question. I would buy an expedite to win the game shirt. Like, he is so mighty. So, what he just kept saying, we're going to do whatever. We're going to play whoever we have to to expedite to win the game. That's who's going to play. That's, a, that's right up there with, like, you know, Herm Edwards win the game type shit. That's we will play whoever expedites winning the game. <laughs> what a fucking quote. I mean, it was just cool to see him show an emotion, too. And well, he always, he always, to, oh, he gets, he gets pissed angry. in press conferences. They're trying to put Tua's little brother in. What if he does better than Tua? And then you have a brother QB controversy. I'd love to see that. It was too, I didn't even know Tua's brother was there. That, it's, it, it, that's who they want to put in, Talia Tagovailoa, who's Tua's little brother. Instead of Mac Jones. Is he supposed to be as good as... I don't know if he's supposed to be as good as Tua, but he's supposed to be well, good. I mean, Tua's yeah. only out one week. Yeah. Isn't he? Yeah, he should be, because I think they're on a bye, and then he's back for LSU. Oh. By the way, welcome to the rundown, boss. Happy yeah. to be here. Boom, give me some. Uh, now, technically, he was on TV in the back eating cheese balls on the rundown. I've been That's on the rundown true. before. That's true. Uh, Bet MGM Gambling. This weekend, PMT will be streaming during the witching hour. And BetGM has a special new offer for new users in Jersey who uh, want to get on the board, who want to get on the board. When you sign up with code Barstool, make your first deposit of $10 or more and get 12 free. What? <laughs> the, the only guy who can consistently come up with these type of promos is Sausage. There's nobody else who can be that unevented. Um, 10 will get 12 free $10 bets. That's $120 value, so you can bet the board <laughs> and have so action funny. on every game that is taking place during the witching hour. Sign up with Code Barstool for your free 12, for your 12 free bets when you deposit. Tune in Sunday, 3:30 for PMT witching hour. Disclaimer: Winning paid and free bets must be 21 and in Jersey to place bets. Restrictions apply. Visit uh, betgm. Betg betmgm.com for a full list of terms and conditions. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. All right. Uh, man had sex in a Target or Walmart with Olaf, the stuffed animal from um, Frozen. Ja ejaculated all over him. My yeah. main takeaway was, I don't know if you saw on our blog, we had two people blog this right on top of each other. Okay. One had a picture of the man with a picture of Olaf and mentioned that it was Olaf. The other just said, Nan has sex with a toy at Walmart. Come on, Chief. Jerry put you in a fucking butt. Like, no one clicked. This is just a blogging lesson. I don't care as much about the guy coming on Olaf. How do you, you know? You need to mention Olaf. Like yeah. You said, okay, okay. I thought you were going all the way for a no, second. No, no, no. So Jerry was the one who knew to mention Jerry Olaf. Jerry mentioned yeah. Olaf. Oh, that and makes the a picture huge of Olaf. difference. The other guy, I, I wouldn't even click on the other story. Yeah. Chief, I would, wake I, up. Those Chicago guys sometimes, it's like they're on their own world. Dude. We got White Sox Dave again being an asshole. Latest, yeah. Yeah. He, he, and he also called into uh, the radio, and he claims that he has a baseball academy. A what? Yeah. White Sox Dave runs a baseball academy nationwide that, that children, like, uh, participate in. Like they pay to he, play he, it? He said that he, because uh, this was, you know, him and the Rocket were saying, who knows baseball more? Uh, Dave said that right out of college, he had several offers 
At first, he, he made it sound like he had offers to be a major league coach, then downgraded <laughs> it to then downgraded it to a scout, and then said that he has basically a baseball academy that kids all across the United States of America are like engaging in. Like what they, do you mean a baseball academy? Like I mean, they play? He, he, uh, to be fair, he did not say the word academy. We threw that out there because that's what it sounds like. He said like a brace, baseball program that kids are signing up so for. So parents pay to send their kids to the White Sox Dave Academy of Baseball? <laughs> <laughs> I, we didn't. Funny. It was literally as radio ended. I was like, you should All write right. a blog about this because Shit. I need to know about the academy. I have to get to the bottom of that. <laughs> uh, more, more work for you at 4 o'clock. Yeah, any, any comments on the guy's? Fucking Olaf. Uh, yeah, Olaf got the share of the stick, actually, because I read it wasn't, um, he was the only person that got fucked. Also, a unicorn got fucked in the same aisle, so this guy did too. Well, I mean, Olaf and the unicorn. You can't fuck Olaf. It's a shame. Can't, I mean, well, if you're gonna fuck a, a, a stuffed animal, it can't be a snowman. I don't know, I feel like Olaf adds a little over. <laughs> like, you little know little Olaf. Little. That's really You've seen him in Frozen. Kids love Frozen. They're going to go to that store. They want Olaf. They grab the Olaf. It's been fucked. Yeah, if it's just a random unicorn, you give a shit. But if it's Olaf, that's, that's Olaf. That's fucking disgusting. Joe Giardi, Philly's manager. I don't know why everyone thinks he's so great. Yeah, he won a World Series, and he but, did really well with the Yankees. Yeah, I mean, it's hard not to do really, like, make the playoffs and be good with the Yankees. Well, yeah, I mean, he was there when they missed, like, I think he came in right when they missed the playoffs and, like, brought them back, right? Yeah, he, he missed was, his first season. He started in the World Series. And then, it's kind of like yeah. the Theo thing to a degree. It's like if you always are on the biggest fucking payrolls, you should be good. Like, you should. Yeah, but Theo also does it well with, like, young talent. Yeah, but he it's also just... misses on free agents, like, all the time. Yeah, he's almost bad with the money. Yeah. Girardi, I mean... Like, if you gave me the biggest payroll in baseball, I'd win the World Series every year. I would. I don't think you would. No, I would. Because I think the Yankees have proven that. Yeah, well, I'm smarter than they are. That's my point. I mean, I think Cashman is like a great GM, though. I mean, he's shown that he can find the like diamonds in the rough and spend the money. It doesn't. I don't know. Doesn't guarantee anything. They have no pitching. Yeah, I mean, that's that. They're kind of like the Astros are doing with pitching, and the Yankees are doing with hitting. I mean, Cashman has found more hitters in one season than like teams do entire regimes. Then you look at like a guy like Stanton, who at this point you say is just like a total miss. Yeah. You spend all that money. Other teams can't withstand that. Like the Yankees. Red yeah, Sox, like cut them. Yeah, if you but miss. for every one of that, like, I mean, finding like Luke Voigt, Talkman, Flavor Torres, like all these guys that fucking are nobodies who can who contribute. But even when the Yankees are winning all the time, they win with they won with pitching. You win with pitching. Pitching and defense, man. Um, Kyrie Irving, I fucking hate him. Like I really fucking hate him. I almost hate him as much as LeBron. That speech he gave, like thanking the Brooklyn fans and like breaking down and getting emotional. Oh, oh man. man, I'm eternally, I'm eternally grateful, grateful to, be to be here, here. Be, be back home, home in front of you guys, guys with my teammates, teammates. on behalf, behalf of, us. of us. Oh man, oh, man. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, it's just it's hitting me right, me right now. I appreciate you guys, and I look forward to you guys supporting us all season. Let's go Nets. What are you talking about? He's just such a, he's such a weirdo. Like, his brain is always, it's always way too dramatic. Every, all over everything the top. about Brooklyn is just weird. Well, like, and then he, 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 went, he went down that road of, like, we have the new residents, too. And, that people don't like that. Like, we're all. both from New York. We have all our friends are from New York. How many Nets fans do you know? Uh, I mean, Evan Roberts is it. I know two. And Brian Simmons, who's personal. probably over there. Those are the three Nets fans I how, know. How would you even be a Nets fan? I don't know. Yeah, because, I mean, it's From all... The Jersey? only people I knew was Jersey, but then when they moved, a lot of people ditched them. And then if you jumped on now, it, you know, you're Because that's where Kyrie's wagon. from. So Kyrie, that's why he says he's playing at home with the Nets. He's yeah. from, like, Brick Township, New Jersey. So the Nets are an anomaly. Yeah, he... He, it's, he is way He's the too worst human ever. I, uh, like, I mean, honestly, honestly put, if he died, I wouldn't shed a tear. I'd be... I'd clap. Where are you at with him and LeBron, then? If you're, I mean, th that right there is what you say about LeBron. That was, like... I, I, they're very close. Is it? I wish they played together, to be honest, so I could hate them equally. And like I mean, you, when they did, you were I riding Kyrie. I fucking hate Kyrie. I hate Kyrie. You gave him all the credit in the world for that title. Yeah. You but still, then you he, still he, love he, Kyrie. Yeah, I did. For a Kyrie stand. Yeah. And then he, I saw him in action, and he's like LeBron Jr. What'd you think of that move last night? With a fall down thing? Yeah. They like didn't the, do that on purpose. Yeah, people are acting like it was like a street ball move, because that is kind of a, a like a end one move where you... 
roll. He didn't but I think do that he just purpose. like stumbled and recovered. Did we talk about I missed the rundown yesterday? Did we talk about LeBron's opening game when he disrespected the national anthem, flopped, complained for a foul, and had protests uh, all against him for human rights and lost by ten? That was a LeBron like fucking quad. Um Selena versus Haley Baldwin. So Selena released a new song today or today? Yesterday. I think. Yesterday. And it's like talking about Bieber, I guess, and how they broke up. And then Bieber's wife, Haley Baldwin, basically just like 10 minutes after the song dropped said, I'm going to kill you. Damn. Yeah, I mean, just that, that's like, I mean, all this shit's like veiled, right? But like. It wasn't that veiled. It, it was like. She I'm posted gonna, a screenshot of yeah, a song that said, I'll it, kill you, right? Correct. That's not that veiled. I mean, it's kind of veiled. It's not I like mean, 10 I minutes after Selena, the song I'm going to kill like, you. I'm going to yeah, kill you. Yeah, I know. By the way, Selena I'm, posted I'm, all this shit about God. I, I hate all the God stuff. I'm so, I didn't see that prior she to that. She put like a ridiculous story about like I was walking and I, God spoke to me and said like follow. You know, Selena. Selena all the, she freaks me out, Selena. I don't. I'm about all, like all in on Selena right now. I think I she, hate Haley uh, Bieber. Uh, I hate her. Oh, I like her, but no, I, I like think Selena is like turning into. Maybe the hottest girl on like the planet right now. Well, that, we were debating that today because people, Ooh. I think most people think that Haley is like. Yeah, I, I used to believe that, but no, no, no. I actually saw the chicks in the office like scrolling that little like if you fuck with, I don't care if you fuck with me or something. Even if you don't, you know, even if you don't fuck with me, I appreciate you listening. <laughs> and I like watched that clip like a hundred times. Selena's gotten a lot hotter. She's she like coming to her mean, own. She's always been hot. Yeah. But she's like elevated or something. I don't know what's going on. It's aging like fine wine. I mean, she, it's kind of like an attitude thing you're saying, right? Like hottest with her. Uh, and just she pure just physical sat, hotness. Really? Yeah, she's yeah. just very hot. Yeah, chick. I'm Team Selena, which she is was a always, big shift. I mean, she was young. Like they're all young and then they get older and she was kind of like baby face. Bieber and, like, gave her yeah. lupus. Yeah, that's right. People forget that. Fucking <laughs> lupus. Is it lupus? Yeah. Yeah, it is lupus. Yeah. She had lupus. She got checked into like rehab, Bieber rehab, and came out with lupus. <laughs> but now, and I had like I, I used to make. Now I'm like all in on Selena. I like her so much more than Haley Baldwin. I like Haley Baldwin too. Yeah, I just saw a billboard today when we did pizza. Do you see that billboard? It's like a gigantic, like Bieber and the his wife. Thing? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would rather that see Selena. Nice. Frankly, yeah. wow. anything post show. We're going. Uh, me and Dan. And I guess Mush is coming. We're going to FanDuel tonight. We're doing some cockamamie Equinox contest. Like, we're betting money in and then sport Equinox. I don't know when that's happening, when all the sports play at the same day. It, the only way it wouldn't happen is if the Nats sweep the Astros. What does that mean? You have, like, football, World Series, college? All four major blah, blah, blah. sports on the same day. Baseball, hockey, basketball, football. That's cool. The Equinox, Sports Equinox, Equinox. 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 I was wondering if that was, you've just been saying that wrong, right? Yeah, well, and by the way, what happened to Steve Che today? That dude can only tread water for three minutes? That is. He only did three? Like three, three and a four, half. Four minutes. Four? Can I he mean, not swim? <laughs> you got 11 minutes left. So you got to stay away from the edge, man. <laughs> oh, no, 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 What is this, he's done? You're quitting? You're quitting? No. <laughs> you quit. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's all over. It's all over. You didn't even make it. You didn't even make it a third of the way. You didn't even make it five minutes. He guaranteed, or he was supposed to do fifteen, right? I don't think he ever said he was good at he, it. He just was like, I'll he, do he it. He tapped out. Like tapped out after three. Like, Which really is good. insane. I, mean, I, I could do two. Hours. I could do it forever. I feel like it's I could probably even do three. harder than you think. It is, but. Three minutes is... Treading water I mean, is like you're, you're not even really moving. You can just go in slow motion. I think you just like bounce up and down, right? Well, I mean, you're not floating. You have to be like... I think in a pool paddling. I could swim Shit. water for infinity. I would die of hunger before I drown. Your arms wouldn't get tired? Nope. Why not? Because you don't have to move your arms. If your arms get tired, you can do your legs for a little bit. And yeah, I don't think... I don't know if it's a buoyancy thing or not, but I feel like I'd be fine for like five minutes, too. I, I mean, like, I think, yeah. Like, eh, if you just... Plenty. Fat guys float. Fat think, guys float. Think, People think fat guys float. They do, but floating that's is a, not what that's you're That's an urban myth. If, 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 I usually use a noodle, so I don't yeah, really know. Yeah, yeah, you think fat guys float. That's an urban myth. I do not think you float. I think you'd sink. Wait, you're I, saying you don't float? No, we float. Yeah, that's oh, you like do? buoyancy For is a, a few real... Minutes, yeah. That's not a myth. That's like science. I mean, I've tried it if a few times. If you like times. lay on your back, he'll float. You, you, how long do you think you could do it for? I think I could maybe do five minutes. Glenny. Oh, Glenny. You can barely walk for five minutes. I try. I think if... 
I think, like, again, you can't just like kick back and lay. You have to be like upright <laughs> and paddling. Listen. I would be careful throwing around anything higher than like I'm not saying minutes. 15. There he is. I'm saying five. I think five is a possibility. It's in the realm. He says he can. It's do in the realm five. of possibility that I can do five. Are you like an aquatic person? Like, did you grow up? You I can't swim. I do love is the that I, No, I can swim. Then what, what happened? It's just hard. I'm, I wasn't allowed to swim. So I could only tread water. I yeah, couldn't, you like, can't, like, float. Yeah, you couldn't, can't lay like, back. You can't float. swim forward and you're just upright. I can't back float for what it's worth. But oh. Yeah. No, it's only treading water. It's harder, can, it's harder he, than you can think. Can you mimic treading water right now? I think I think I'd die of hunger first, but maybe I'm wrong. It's not easy. Can you mimic treading water? Like, what is your body doing? You just, you're upright and you're like, yeah, you're, you kind of go like this. Your arms are going like this, your legs are going oh, like well, this. Oh, well, my, all four well, you don't go this way. Yeah. This way. For treading you water? You kind of go like out yeah. and in. Side, yeah. yeah, it's like this. I mean, because you're well, not, I feel like I'm riding a bike. I was picturing just floating up and down, like I'm no, doing, like, like, I'm doing like, like angels in the outfield. No, like this? The water's not here, Dave. The water's here. <laughs> yeah. There's like no this. water up here. That's like a doggy paddle. I doggy paddle. You're not you're not moving, though. So you stay still in the water. Yeah. What you're doing would like move you forward and backwards. It's I'm very difficult. Sure I can it's total body. You, if you were in the water, you'd be like, if you want to go forward, you're like this, not like this. Well, I, I but yeah. that's not like that's probably harder than you think. I don't, I don't tread water necessarily like that. Okay. I think you almost have to, <laughs> otherwise yeah. you're gonna be moving. Yeah, I think that. Uh, well, I move. That's not. <laughs> that's not the game. That's swimming. Yeah. No, because like well, it's not really swimming. If you are in the in the water, paddling your arms well, like swimming, and moving, you, that's no, swimming. no, swimming to me, not if you're not if you're like, if you're. Erect. That's not swimming. <laughs> right. That's what treading water is. Okay, so you can move around upright. Because like I, I would imagine when you're swimming, you can actually go longer because you're like gliding yeah. and Wait moving. Where this is swimming, like swimming isn't like you can drift around the pool. No. No. Treading well, water is like you stay swimming. still. Like you don't. S if you're swimming like and you moving, don't swim upright. Right. That's treading water. Okay. Then I can do it forever. No. I think that I think you're thinking of swimming. Swimming is probably easier than treading water. Swimming, you have to be like lateral, like you're. Oh down. yeah, like this guy is just moving his whole body, up and down. That's a problem. Like, yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's much more difficult than I think a lot of people are. You're right. Are think thinking. So. What's that? It's much more difficult than yeah. I, I think a lot of people are. I'm thinking. gonna definitely do it. Okay. I'll do I, it. If you I, now, I I've learned over the years that you can do weird physical things and usually do. I these, think you I could do. I think it. you'll beat four minutes. I but think you could do. 15. I don't think you'll do like. You're, infinity, you like seem like an aquatic person. Like I'm not, but. If I'm understanding, as long as your like midsection up is straight, parallel, if that, if you're like this, that's treading. Yeah, I can do it forever. And you're not moving like. Well, I am gonna move. Life. It's also in a pool, not a saltwater like ocean, which is different. It's easier in a pool. No, I think it's easier no. in salt. Saltwater is doing the ocean. Well, I have a saltwater pool. <laughs> that's like in the. In, no big in, deal. <laughs> <laughs> How long do I can do seriously? Are you like an aquatic? Like, can, are you a good swimmer? I Does love, Glenn I love look are aquatic? You an, I love are you pools. an aquatic person? I like very pools. Funny. I Did you have like pools. a pool growing up? I like pools. No, I love pools. I mean, it's one of my favorite places Not to drink. Long. It's a top five place oh, to drink yeah. for me. Yeah, I don't oh, yeah. know that. Drinking that. and water are, are very different. What things. are your top five places to drink, Lenny? Um, pools, balconies, the Long Island Railroad, a tailgate, and a rooftop. That's a good top five. Balcony. Yeah. Falcon and rooftop dangerously close, but it is dangerously close. That's true. You you you, you, I, you struggled there in the first one. I may, I may have there. that. I may have it in my in my notes. One second. Love the balls. I, yeah, I think you're. A lot of people are underestimating it. When you get in the water and you gotta. That's also one of those things where you're like, there. how long have we been going? They're like 30 minutes. I, I, I don't know. Yeah. If, I don't know if <laughs> yeah. what I'm thinking of treading water. I I feel like as long as your body is this way, you can move anywhere you want to move. That's treading. Okay. I can yeah, do I, that I, forever. As long as you're, I think you have to make sure your head. Yeah. Is above, so that you're gonna have to keep your arms and legs moving like the whole time. Oh yeah, I could do that. I think forever. <laughs> I really do. I think it'll do more than five minutes, but I don't think forever is on the table. All right, that's. Uh, that's I mean, it. you're gonna have to do it now, right? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah.